By um, the way, your colon looks fantastic. Rubber boots, rubber boots. One, two, three, everybody get set. A four, five, six, are we having any fun yet? Here comes Jimmy with the rubber boots part. Presented by BetSafe.net. He's 100% free. 100% free. No gimmicks, no strings, they're free. No strings, they're we'll free. talk about life and a little sport. Now you know we're going to play some games. But if nothing else, you know you're going to have a laugh. <laughs> Welcome to a prime time edition of the Rubber Boots Podcast, brought to you by our friends at BetSafe.net. BetSafe.net. Check out the lines for this weekend, the NCAA tournament, everything else. BetSafe.net. Brooksy and I were just doing the dishes oh, at a rock. That's what you call it these party. days. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> just doing the dishes. Doing the dishes. We had a uh, we had a rock and dance party. Gracie was DJ, and uh, oh, nice. we still move pretty good for people of age. Yeah. I just want to say we were going to the new Beebs. Like the, you, you, have you oh, heard the new Beebs? What an album! Fantastic, oh, <laughs> amazing. It is, he's laughing about it. It's down. awesome. He's, like he's uh, I, I thought he was joking. I, I, I legitimately thought he was joking. I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, no, I'm being <laughs> legit. I love the Beebs. Good performance on the NPR Tiny Desk, though. He performed that whole album. Solid. Did he? Yeah. yeah he's well, you guys really didn't good. see Things got like no. six million views now. Yeah. Really good. Pulling up. Yeah. It's the texture of your skin. I wanna wrap my arms around you, baby. Never let you go. Um, yeah, we beeped it out all the way. I uh, went to Kingston this weekend to visit uh, Queens. A uh, very safe visit, by the way, since nice. some idiot some idiot on Instagram was giving me a hard time. Uh, as in drive to Kingston, walk around the campus for three hours, get takeout, yeah. never go to the restaurant, and go home. We weren't gonna play with the whole COVID. I, but, I was just uh, kidding around. Crazy, around was doing the Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. I was in. Uh, I was in PC. You should have dropped by, seen the place. Wow, we, we drove right by to see your spot. Yeah, could have yeah. wow. swung by. Yeah, we should have. It's how far is it off the four hundred one? The puppy for thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Ooh, thirty minutes. Just off the four hundred one. Then that's too. Just minutes north of the. Uh, just minutes the north of the <laughs> south of the four hundred one. Guys, two significant events have happened since we last spoke. Uh, one, uh, Puffy had his tailor-made fitting. You, you can tell? <laughs> As you can see, uh, for you uh, listening, uh, not doing the YouTube, we're available on our YouTube channel now. Puffy is wearing the tailor-made towel and the tailor-made hat that he received at his fitting from our buddy Nick. You look yep. you look right now like a, you look like Kevin Chappell, the PGA Tour pro. Pretty good. Well, like I, mean, I, I would I aim higher. I want to be 50th? Yeah. No, that's pretty good. Something. Kevin Chapel might be mid thirties. I don't know. He's a pretty good player. Well, uh, that's what you now. look like. Why well, you look a little like DJ? Yeah. a little bit actually. Yeah, I don't. If Bump was here, he could do the voice because he does a good DJ. DJ, um, you did not swing like DJ quite. Yeah, well, a bit of a bit. You have a baseball-y thing going on there, but that's I do. Largely. I did realize that uh, watching myself swing the golf club i do swing like a baseball but in fairness i've been coaching baseball now for the last three years so i'm sure that's uh drifted into my golf swing but now with taylor made all my balls go straight now it's unbelievable yes it's unbelievable uh the other event that has happened uh, i had a colonoscopy so i'm not sure which one was more enjoyable watching puppy for two hours at the taylor made thing oh, or having my uh a camera on my, on my butt who got um, in the hole cold <laughs> what you want to hear about first? Want to hear more about Puffy or my uh, the camera butt? Let's see your camera butt. Let's see okay. that's that first. Okay. So, so if you're uh, watching on YouTube, we have the actual footage. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> you roll that now. <laughs> Good, because I got it, was a be here. It, it was a beautiful thing. First, uh, I loved the Markham Stovall Hospital, all their healthcare workers. It was a very, it was a, the actual colonoscopy was a pleasurable experience. I got to be careful how I say this. It was not bad. No, nope. it was the lead up. Who's had one here? Has everybody had one? I've not. No, I well, actually, one time, one time, yes. You have one, but not on purpose. Fun, fun story. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to Funny start. Thing, it was after a show. 
<laughs> they so, call me in the office. And- <laughs> um, you have to, Stoff knows this, uh, you have to uh, take a bunch of laxatives. And you okay. can't even, because I, I had an afternoon colonoscopy, uh, I had to go from Saturday night, I had my last meal at uh, like 7 o'clock, I had dinner. And then okay. I didn't, then my colonoscopy wasn't until 3.30 on Monday. So almost 48 hours I went without food. And uh, I want to say, first of all, this is a first world problem. It's not real hunger. Um, but I'm spoiled and I like to eat a lot. Mm-hmm. So it's difficult not to eat. That's weird. Cause I remember when I had mine, it, the appointment was in the morning, but I could eat until the day before until noon. So I didn't yeah, she gave me very strict. Uh, I think the afternoon thing screwed it up. Then she said, do not eat after you have dinner on Saturday night or whatever. So I think that was too long too. Cause it was almost I so like too. I said, it was yeah. like 44 hours without eating. Yeah. 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 Drink water. Can you drink water. You could have to drink yeah. water. Can drink, oh, like, do they make you drink me? that? When I have to do it, I have to drink four liters of this stuff. What? It still happened. Yeah. yeah. So you got a, you got three things. This thing called Cojalax, which is still here. Mm-hmm. And uh, then there's some laxative, and then there's some magnesium thing you drink that you drink. It's fruity, and then you have to drink like a liter of water every time you have one of these pills. And then basically you're, your butt explodes for a day and you just, you can't venture more than five minutes away from the washroom. I don't want to get graphic with our listeners. But it, um, it's, it's, it's quick when it happens. Yeah, once once a, you feel it's a flood. Be right out. I hope you're not using the toilet. It's broken. Huh? Yeah. It's a flood, but I just want to say, um, once you get, you know, the hunger is funny. Because the hunger is the hardest, I think, is the first, you know, 12 hours because mm-hmm. I'm a grazer. Jimmy likes to go to the fridge, you know, grab a yesterday's meatball, grab a little bar or something. I, I like to graze like a cow. Yeah. That's and uh, so that first, like, you know, waking up the next morning, not having breakfast, not having lunch. I was, that was, I was hurting. But by like the second day, well, you're kind of disgusted by what's happening in the bathroom. So, you, you know, you've lost your appetite anyway, but I was okay. Yeah. So maybe, I don't know, all the people that have to, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for when you don't fast? You don't fast. fast. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. People that fast regularly for <laughs> religious reasons or whatever, I guess they're used uh-huh. to. I guess you get used to it. Anyway, so uh, finally get to the hospital. Markham Stovall, great job. Uh-huh. Um, you get in the room. You got to take off all your garments, go in the waiting room, and you got a little, you got your little, you got, you're nude, you're naked. Naked. You put on, you put on two robes, one like backwards and one frontwards, it's, but it's really liberating. You're sitting in the waiting room and you're just the heir to the world, right? You could do like the basic instinct. I was going to do that for the guy right across from me. Oh. <laughs> Sharon um, Stone's greatest moment, <laughs> oh, famous, most famous moment, I should say. Yeah. So, you know, there's like, I don't know, six people in the waiting room because of COVID. And uh, uh, I, I, I finally get called in to get my IV put in. And the nurse, the nurse knows me from TSN. <laughs> she, her name was, I think, Ed. And she says, hey, <laughs> she said, um, if you're getting hassled out there in the waiting room, you can, you can just wait in here. Okay? Oh, there's. There's the famous person area. <laughs> okay, first you of and all, Jerry D sitting in the know, back room. You know what? <laughs> I, I never got invited to that area. Well, Markham, that's hilarious. No, Markham, you're on the plebes. Markham is a melting pot. It is Canada at its finest. Okay, so in, in the waiting room, um, maybe a couple of Asian Canadians, a couple of East Indian Canadians. I'm wearing a mask and like a green outfit. No one knows who I am, nor could they care less who I am. So she's like, hey, if you're getting hassled out there, you know, just you can come in here and sit with me. I said, so you I did. I think I'll did I said, go yeah, I better stay in here because I don't want to go out there. It's just autographs and selfies and paparazzi. And no, I would out. But here's the deal. Uh, the last time I had a, a colonoscopy, they put me out. They just give you those drugs. Were you out, stuff for years? You're not like I wasn't out. It's uh, they did something, yeah. Like I during the first one, I fell asleep. So that's okay. what they wow. said. That's what the that's, girl told me on the phone. Hold on, is usually, stop. 
That's what being out is. <laughs> no, no, it, it's, not, it's not. Being out to me is being put under. Like I was yeah, on the table. When, when you're put under, you go to sleep. <laughs> it's not. It's not the same thing. That's no, to, to, to Scott's credit, the uh, the girl told me that they give you enough that you're in a haze, and mm-hmm. most people fall asleep. But then the doctor uh, told me, she said, "I'm I'm just going to give you enough that you're comfortable." And I was starting to get a little rattled. I said, I don't want to. I said, am I going to feel it? She goes, well, I just don't want you to feel any pain. If you feel any pain, I'll give you some more. I'm like, I don't even want to get to the point where you have to ask for more. Why, why, why play around the edges? Just knock knock me out. She said, no, you should be fine. So whatever the amount they gave me, you know, you can feel it right away. And I was definitely comfortable, but I was a hundred percent conscious of the entire thing. I could feel wow. it moving around up there, but it was, it was fine. How big is the camera? Well, I don't know, but I was watching the whole screen. We had a half an hour conversation. <laughs> I got to tell you, I have a, I have a damn fine looking cold. Oh, like, yeah. I was sitting there going, is that, is that really it? Like it was clean. It was pure. Jimmy, wasn't it was that new uh, 5, 5G camera that TSN has? For the <laughs> yeah, you could, I, I could, I could <laughs> change all the angles. I could change the angles. I could do super oh, slow. Oh, my God. Yeah. No so wonder I was it. asking all sorts of questions about my coal, and I was like, okay, what's that? Okay, where am I here? Where? How close am I right now to the anus? Can you, can you get outside? Give me an exterior look. Do I look at oh, that's no. the one thing about a, wow. a colonoscopy. You want to look. You know, when I was showering in the morning, I said, I want to, I hope it looks good. You know, I yeah. want it to look good to them, right? You want oh. it to be inviting. <laughs> you have to be embarrassed by it. <laughs> we got a procedure done. Poor cola. No, not too well, inviting, they, 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 Not <laughs> too inviting, but, you know, you don't want it to be. They're like, hold on a second. Maybe we're going to put this one out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wanted to. <laughs> Did they record it? Because, you know, it might be slow on Trade Center. <laughs> oh, see. Something. I, and now we're thinking. That's a good point. Now. Another segment from Duffy's colonoscopy. Pierre LeBrun, your thoughts? So, so, like, usually when you have something like this done, you have to wait for your results. But were you getting, like, live stream of your results? Like, are they, yeah, like, she was like, they could have been like, a- uh, you're not, like, that would have been a bad time to tell you if something was wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's I'm a sure. well, what, what do you think? Three, <laughs> three to six months he has? Three to six? <laughs> Oh like they they're they're playing with fire having you right there while they're looking yeah, at you. Yeah, that's stuff. a little weird. That, that, that I find a little unusual. Can you imagine if you saw some sort of creature, just this massive tumor? Yeah. Like, oh my god! Give me like more it, drugs now. Is that my, my heart? Conflicts. That's where they are. <laughs> Why is that thing beating? So no, they look good, but then they have to do uh uh, so she said everything looks good, but you have to do, there's no like polyps or whatever. There was none of those things. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then you have to do a biopsy. So I'm watching her and she's got like the little, I don't know how, if it's attached to the camera, I guess she's got a different, a different tool up there as well. And she has to pull <laughs> like a, a chunk of skin off my colon, like right in front of me. I'm watching it. Wow. And, it's like, Boom. and then you can see the little blood they're dribbling off. And I'm like, hey! I was a perfect you- colon you're messing with. <laughs> could, could, could you feel that? <laughs> I was like, yeah, hey, ah. you know, I was like, take it I, easy. I'm like, colon. I remember for the one that I was awake, I, like I a at hickey. One point felt the camera turning in my stomach. Really? Which was a really odd, it wasn't like painful. It was just a really odd sensation. Uncomfortable. Oh my yeah. God. I, I had a, a camera up my penis once and that was way oh. more uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh. Which, which country listen, were you in? <laughs> <laughs> And how much was the fine? <laughs> spring break, man. Hey, spring listen, break. I, I, I'll tell you what. I, who are you, Jimmy? Because there's no way I'd be on a podcast uh, seen nationally and internationally talking about my colon. I just wouldn't do it. So good for you. Hey, I like I said, well, this is the point of our podcast is to share everything, even things people don't want me to share. Uh, anyway, the, the conclusion was my, my colon looks great. I haven't got the uh, nice. results of the biopsy yet, but that's good. Everything's dude. looking up for Jimmy and his and his butt. How how did you get an appointment? Isn't it really hard to get anything like that when uh, with COVID? Well, I should share the, the reason I had the colonoscopy, uh, Puffy, is the when I was at the Masters last time. I started. I don't know if I shared with you at the time. Uh, I was kind of like Lester and Turks and Caicos. I kept it a little quiet, but I was having some 
weird digestive issues that lasted for like two months, like nothing that was affecting my health, but I was, I was, uh, you know, we were COVID tested every day. So it wasn't that. And so that's when I ended up, uh, I ended up booking this thing. So no, yeah, there's a, you can still do appointments still now. Stuff. They have limited time. Yeah. You can still get them depending on what they are. Some get canceled depending on how busy the hospitals are, but I think Mark and Stovall is doing really re- well right now as far as uh, COVID patients. So anyway, all the people at Markham Stovall were awesome and um, very pleasant, very pleasant colonoscopy. And if we that could at this, yeah. at this point, maybe we could have a chant for Jimmy's colon. Yeah. All right. Could you do a song, a theme? Jimmy's colon, clean as a whistle. <laughs> Jimmy's colon, super fine. Oh, yeah. Sounds like Jimmy's, Jimmy's colon. colon. It's hello. all in. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's actually hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Jimmy's, Jimmy's colon. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Punty's tailor-made fitting was uh, very enjoyable. Uh, my, my favorite part of the tailor-made fitting is when I get to bring other people. I've brought uh, Bob McKenzie now, uh, Sean McKenzie. Uh, my son, Jared, has got to go. Bump came last year. And uh, Nick is such a great guy and a friend of He's the podcast. Awesome. Uh, Nick was the one who uh, wanted Puffy to come in. And if you guys show an interest in golf, maybe Lester and Stoff will be next. But uh, Puffy was Can't just... Get a hat? Yeah. You know, give me a hat. I'll take over we'll a hat. hat you know I mean? Towels. You mean, stop and wear a hat. I'm, I just think, look it. We'll get our own golf in there. sponsor. Don't worry. Yeah. I probably improved his handicap about eight strokes after he got fitted with his tailor mades. I suspect yeah. Puffy will be down regularly like 10 strokes. It just feels comfortable in your hands when you know your clubs. But it's 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 just amazing the guys in there. I had Ryan and, and like they basically would hand you a club and I'm hitting everything left. And then he'd be like, okay, let's try a different shaft. And then all of a sudden you're hitting everything straight. And it's like, I didn't, I didn't improve my swing. Like my swing's still the same, but they, you know, like anyone who likes to golf should do something like this if they can, yeah. because it, it, you don't think about it, but it, the equipment makes, it makes such a difference. Life change. Well, of course. Especially tailor-made equipment. They also uh, this summer are offering uh, colonoscopies. When you get in there, you get fitted, and you get Nick will do them in the back. He's got a room in the back. <laughs> and, and the, those he got for me and Lester. <laughs> but you those are everything. your two. You're hooked <laughs> up now. Line. And Ooh. and Nick Nick has gentle hands, so you're you'll be fine. <laughs> he won't have anything to worry about. Does he he puts on them up. Golf gloves. Golf gloves. Um, smooth leather. <laughs> Uh, so thank you to Nick. Uh, the guys at TaylorMade are, are unbelievable, and it was uh, it was awesome to get in there and, and watch Puffy hit him. Um, let's let's okay. get to the real part here. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. So I posted uh, I posted a story. I'm going to go right now. I just posted it today. Uh, it'll be gone by the time uh, you guys are watching this podcast. Just want to see how many how many views Puffy's TaylorMade story has. Oh, like 5,000 views already. Wow. wow. Ooh, blowing up. Uh, wow. And, and I also, That's Canadian let's trending. If, if Taylor May can make Twitter. that guy golf that good, <laughs> imagine what they'll do for me. <laughs> it's true. And then on, uh, on the, on the Twitter, that's another social media thing you guys should check out. It's, uh, oh, it's got hundreds of views there as well. So Puffy made a putt. I said, I'll just play it. Well, stop and play it. Puffy has moved to the putting green. The stakes are high. Puffy, you miss the putt. You're off the podcast. You make the putt. Five free gold bars. Oh, my goodness. How clutch is that? How clutch is that? Five gold bars. <laughs> that was impressive. I don't know why I wasn't trying. Yeah, that was very impressive, Puffy. Um, question number one. What authorizes Jimmy just to hold out, hand out five gold bars like that? Yeah. Who the uh, hell do you think he no is? No one else around. It felt it felt right to me and to Jimmy at the time. So, it, well, it, where's it Maya stands. Lester's opportunity for? Uh, yes, yeah, exactly. Bars? There'll be opportunities for sure. Those will, will come up when we <laughs> all are on the golf course. Wow. At, at the wow. colonoscopy. <laughs> at the colonoscopy. <laughs> you can you can handle this with no prior freezing or anything like that. You get the gold bars. Three gold yes. bars. Two. Three gold bars. I love 
go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, Dr. Dr. Fu, who gave me my colonoscopy, said if I find no polyps, polyps, 10 mm -hmm. free gold bars. 10 free gold bars. <laughs> so I'm up 10. Now, let me just add that to your total. Sure. Um, so the controversy, and I might have stirred this up, uh, was uh, that there might have been a second video that was taken. Well, we, we did that right, eh? a second video that was mailed to us from a Portuguese housekeeper. Who's gone rogue? <laughs> a disgruntled, a disgruntled employee. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 chip wasn't up to par. <laughs> she came in. It's like those, all all the movies from like the, the 2000s with the first computer movies where she sneaks into the office and sticks in the little the thing into the and it's a floppy disk. <laughs> and it's yeah. so slowly. <laughs> come on, come on, baby, upload. Okay, so, well, so uh, let's play yeah. that video here. Puffy with the new putters. Puffy, if you miss this putt. You're kicked off the podcast. If you make it, 10 gold bars. How can you leave it three feet short? I'll give you one. Now, in fairness to me, I I picked up the uh, the putter and I hit the first four putts right off the hop. I was like, bang, bang. And I never hit anything. Mm. And so Jimmy walked up as I was basically just about to putt. And he said... You know, you five free gold bars are off the I think thing. I said so 10 I was, that time. 10. I was, I sort of like, I wasn't. I you was were actually already swing. putting, yeah. already mm -hmm. putting before I offered the 10 gold bars, but you left yeah. it like three feet short. It was a terrible yeah. putt. And then, and then, we so we two. did, we, we did television. take two. We did take two. It's television. The hammer clutch. Yeah. clutch. Well, actually, you were red hot. So you should have been clutch when Jimmy made it the first time. The proposition. No, he started talking to me in my in my routine. And I have a routine all, now. Wow. Is there not like a laser there guiding you where to shoot the ball? Uh, no, I didn't see any laser. <laughs> the only la the only laser I saw was the focus that I had. Now that wow. I'm a, a tailor made am, golfer, I am docking both of you a gold bar for the wow. shenanigans. Wow. So I'm only wow. up four. I'm up four gold bars from from Correct. that. Correct. Hey, if you want to see uh, Puffy's video, you can uh, watch us on YouTube and join us for the, the live premiere on Thursday. I have another Leafs game, so I guess I won't be getting my gold bar again. But uh, I was there last week participating. Yeah. Huge hit. And uh, who was not there last week? Puffy. And I go by you my want, you want, Yes, you want Puff. You want Puff. <laughs> The way it appears on TV, on. isn't it? My Because you're, you're there for me. Where am I for you? So okay, wait a so second. You, just you're so recording that appears on television? Yes. So, so yeah. where it's am I? It's always me and you at the top, Jimmy. You're on the left oh. side. Of the side. Puppy's okay, on so the I'm bottom on the left. left. Lester's on the bottom right. And our pod listeners are... Okay, so you so weren't go there like this. and you weren't there. So is that Jimmy? No, you're, you are You guys are both pointing like, off screen. This is like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> uh, you guys is that Jimmy? Pointing. No, Jimmy's right above you. If you go oh, like this. Oh, right above me. Yeah. If you, if you go like this, that's Lester. Not there. Lester. There? No, that's the other way. Jimmy's there, me. Lester, you bastard. Lester. Stoff. Stoff is like yeah. there. No, other way. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's oh, right. my God. This is great podcasting. This is can't. incredible. Audio only. Uh, um, I was I was vacationing. I could not attend. I was oh in Prince Edward County. I, yeah, I was in the county. Is, does the kids call it the county? Like if they do a oh, show yeah. like the OC, we'll I, be I heard the they county. call it. Yeah. We're we're basically going to be doing a a, a, a a OC type show called the County. Look for it on Crave in twenty twenty. That would be a great show on Crave the County. Yeah. A exactly. bunch of cool kids in the summer come to the county. They rent puppies I, VRBO. They totally trash tra it. Trash it. <laughs> And they are and they are videotaped without their knowledge. <laughs> without their <consent. laughs> uh, Lots of legal issues there. I, like it. I was It'll not there last YouTube. week. I, I Where apologize. I wanted to. I, I well, it was my birthday last Thursday to be honest with you. So I was having birthday dinner with my folks, and uh, my cousin well, also celebrates a birthday the same day. So we actually um, we had Zoom for a surprise party in the chat. Yeah, yeah. we were all there. Never all your friends. You know who was up? Your we life. had all your friends on there. We had Wonder Kid, the Wonder yep. Kid, <laughs> Wonder Boy, Mike. the Wonder Boy, Wonder Mike, the Wonder Child. We yep. had uh, Tony Ferraro, <laughs> yep. Elton Ron. <laughs> he was on a real crowd pleaser 
Oh yeah. We had Ray Ferraro. We couldn't get Tony Ferraro. He's too big. We got Ray Ferraro. <laughs> uh, we had Brandy. Good. Randy, your high school crush. Uh, we had that girl. Uh, she's that girl she's the, still a little flirty with them. Yeah, she's very flirty. <laughs> we had the girl you had the first kiss with. She also she still was not a little flirty. <laughs> yeah. We had a couple of girls threw their panties on the stages at that one show. Yeah. yeah. We had them on. I used one of those covered my barbecue. And we had Oprah and uh oh, that's and Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> Were they big boned? In it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think James didn't say anything. <laughs> no, no, just blew right through it. <laughs> what did he say? I didn't, I didn't, did I you hear, hear it? No, I never hear your jokes. I'm too busy trying to tell my own. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't record at night. <laughs> See, it? that's uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, let's get to other stuff because uh, once again, Stoff has done a uh, four-page uh, manifesto, uh, which I haven't gotten to. Uh, let's get to well, I guess an, ex- an extended edition of Puffy's props because we have to get through March Madness. Brought to you by Bet. Save.net. So, uh, first of all, uh, who, what is the bigger hi, shocker? Hi, hi. Oral Roberts? You, you. Or Jimmy being in first place amongst the group? I'd say it's unbelievable. Hi, hi. I would yeah, say you, you'd be in first place. It's unbelievable. Given the disrespect that you were shown by our listeners, nobody and, voted anyone, for me. I had to go on and vote on for myself. I had to vote for myself from uh, my own account and my four burner accounts. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that number got up to 18%. That's the only way I got there. <laughs> At jamesduffysofly.com. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy that rips all the James Duffy critics out there. How can you say anything about him? He's awesome and so handsome and funny. Um, how about the names? for some of the teams in the bracket. Very impressive. These are some dedicated ass rubber bootsies. Yeah. Um, what do we call our people? Are we call them bootsies? Boot- that's, that's too cute. Bootsies. Booters. Yeah. Booters. booters. I, I, I call booters. booters. Rubber booters. Yeah. Bootleggers. Rubber booters. Booters. Shooters and rubber booters. What's going on? How about rubbers? Oh, oh. rubbers. <laughs> I like that. Grab your rubbers. <laughs> Prophylactic Nation, we're coming at you. Prophylactic Nation. <laughs> That's the every, every Thursday. <laughs> every Thursday at Roger. six. All right. Where's it is? Um, Prophylactic Nation. <laughs> you can't even say that word. Car, picks by Puffy's Car Possum. I know how to ask pick em. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. The Revenge of Jimmy's Definitely Bunny. good. Yeah. Grave Diggers, The Grave Diggers. Emilio's Revenge. <laughs> A lot of revenge. The, ble- the bleeding dog bracket. <laughs> oh my god! Incredible bracket. Oh, that's Mac gotta be my buddy Ho. Oh, yeah, must be. Uh, better off letting my ass pick. Yeah. I let my ass pick this <laughs> bracket. A lot of aspects in here. Nate loves aspic. Fire Lester, that's my favorite. Yeah, that's from. Um, Rod Rod Baby's number one fan. Yeah. Also good. And flat, uh, flat money. money. When Roddy lays his voice down on a track Black money. When Emilio puts the oil on Roddy's back Black money. When Roddy hosts a show on TSN Black money. When Roddy make love to Helen Duran Black money. Roddy's face Black money. Roddy's head Black money. Roddy body Black money. No underwear Black money. Go ahead fool, ask all the ladies east to west They know Roddy's beef dip is the best Mic drop <laughs> Black money. Love you. That's why the- we love you guys the, but the we best love you is rubbers. the 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 prophylactic nation figured out how to change your name. None of us could. <laughs> I have Sean Swell bracket. I'm like, what the hell is that? They just name they name them yourself. Yeah, yeah. So they basically they name yeah. mine either. If you don't change the name, they'll name it for you. So it'll be like Jimmy's amazing James bracket. Dandy Dandy bracket or something. Yeah, yeah James, James Dandy is bracket. Dandy bracket. Yeah. We let our people down. We let the rubbers down the, because they came from very creative names. The prophylactic nation. <laughs> and and we so had good. very boring names. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. the madness was pretty great, uh, considering no fans. It was, uh, it was wild. Clemson didn't yeah. do so well. 
That hurt. Uh, but Jimmy Yay. still, uh, Jimmy picked a couple of upsets in there and uh, leads the way. Uh, 21st I, overall. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It, it'll be a lot of work for one of us three to catch you at this point, I think. So, and the, the funny part is, you know how people could bet the gold bars. A uh, lot of people put them on me and Puffy. Couple people came through with Lester. No one put bars on Jimmy. Oh. Wow. Wow. That is yeah. the Same. disrespect. Oh, he, show, he showed you all. Yeah. Even Dr. Fu, my colonoscopy doctor. I thought she would have come through. <laughs> She, she put money on. Oh, she's on here. She's in 21st. Two fighters. <laughs> Who's leading? Uh, I can't. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So versus maybe... Derek, Jeff, Jamie, can movie guy, Karolnik. Karolnik's tied for first currently. Yeah. Wow. One points. And Sajan. Uh, Alex Silverman tied for second, 40 points. And he has the most potential points remaining. Yeah. So Silverman in a good spot. I like Silverman? That sounds like when you're in a movie with like an office. Silverman! Yep. Bring me my file! Bueller? <laughs> Bueller? Okay, so congratulations to all those guys. Good start, but it's uh, far from over. I mean, a lot of these might guys might have... Uh, who's that, Arizona? Yeah. Arizona? Yeah. Were they in? I don't think Illinois. Sorry, Jimmy's, Jimmy's the guy winning the pool has no idea who. <laughs> I'm losing to this. I'm losing to this. Guy. I meant to say Illinois. All right. So this won't have it. We won't know the totals. The guy wins fifty until the end. Right. There's no. You don't win for Jimmy. Doesn't win anything for being ahead after the first round. No. No. Oh, no. No. Absolutely. Let's make that clear. He actually loses right. the gold bar. Okay. I love gold and so do you. Do, 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 do. Join the gold bar league and you can have some too. Do, 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 do. It's the gold, the gold bar league. Come on and join the gold, the gold bar league. I love gold. gold. In the Gold Bar League itself, we had another cancellation. It is cursed. Every week, something goes hor horrifically wrong. This time, it was the Sabres and the Bruins that were postponed. There's also yeah. another prop that we don't really know about. Yeah. Which one was that? <laughs> the Which kissing? That? The, the, kissing one where, the one where I asked you yesterday, and we had to clarify what we were asking for. <laughs> I had just been through a major procedure. I was still on the drugs. And the, the best part was when we what were making this? it, we were saying, like, but Jimmy, how are we going to even know this? You're like, I watch golf every Sunday. I don't miss a play. I a watch shot, every second. A I moment. I and then all of a sudden, it's like, forgot. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, to, in Jimmy's <laughs> defense, he was running back and forth to the toilet during that 18. Well, that, that is a good point. She, she was definitely not on. I don't know where she was uh, because she was Miss Idaho. Um, well, what if and there are lots of there? Wow. <laughs> Why would you do that? Don't do Matt Jones like that. Uh, but no, he, he celebrated with his caddy. He did the tear few tear, tear interview with Roger Maltby or Steve Sands. One of those guys. Did, did he and kiss then him? Yeah. he did not kiss him. <laughs> and then that was it. They were gone. They were that would have been no kisses, no hugging, the, no nothing. The most controversial, controversial one ever. If he like did a, like one of those, like, like, you know, big kisses, like joke kisses with like malt beer or something. And we would have been like, <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> He's getting Stop. Did most people uh, vote for the kiss or against, against the kiss in the in the league? I would say it was roughly. pretty split, actually. Okay, so Jimmy won that prop, right? I set yeah. it up. Yeah, I knew that she lost. wasn't. I knew that she wasn't going to be there. Yeah. Um, and so uh, the point of this is that uh, Lester still leads the way in uh, the podcast full bar standings. Puffy and Jimmy tied with fourteen. Stop is at twelve. Remember, three of us still owe five to the bank. Okay, so we uh, still do all five. Okay. Ho, uh, Ho does. Oh, we were supposed to. We were supposed to get even with the bank this week. So it you was can actually subtract. last week, but oh. but my putt, my putt paid off my debt. <laughs> no. So I'm absolutely good. Absolutely not. I'm, absolutely, I'm, absolutely not. No, no putting. The stakes are high, Puffy. You missed the putt. You're off the podcast. You make the putt. Five free gold bars. How clutch is that? How clutch is that? 
Very impressive, Puffy. Clutch. Police continue to analyze an audio portion of a cell phone video. So the controversy, there might have been a second video. That we did right, eh? Second video that was mailed to us from a Portuguese housekeeper. How can you leave it three feet short? Is there not like a laser there guiding you where to shoot the ball? Uh, no, I didn't see any laser. <laughs> Even though he had a laser helping him. As with everything else in this case, the recording is surrounded by controversy. 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 You're lucky I, I, you're you're have 13 step. bars right now for that old debacle. <laughs> not to mention James for offering you said bars. <laughs> Jimmy, you uh, come on. Ho is leading the gold bar league as I gave oh, away earlier. Oh, my boy. Show. Chewy Louie's still up there. Uh, Andrew Arsenault yeah. tied for second. Um, Rick Driveway, who I like to call, what do I call him? Black Pavement? Black Pavement. He's, uh, he's, Black been, uh, he's been slipping the past couple of weeks. Yeah, he's sliding. He's had a you know, slump. Mm. Uh, emphasis on the bricks with the tournament. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That was, mm, um, nice. AK and Carlo, I don't even care anymore. Yeah, uh, Carlo did not place bets this week. No. It's over. Oh, First up challenge is over. Lives and dies by this podcast. So Carlo, I love Carlo declaring him AK. We're declaring AK right, right now. Mm -hmm. AK is the winner of the first up challenge. Congratulations, Absolutely. AK. One hundred percent. You tell uh, Carlo we lost. I'm not telling Carlo we lost. Carlos, Carlo can play in the league today. So a you tell AK him. somehow was playing golf this week. What with, courses are open with Carlo? Uh, there's a couple of courses open. Jimmy went to a driving range today that he didn't even know existed uh, until today. And he saw it on Instagram somewhere. And it's only like 15 minutes from his house. And it was hot. There was, was 50 guys lined oh, up. Sure. Oh, it's it just a mud field. And there's actually a golf course there, which really? is just the the cornfield of cornfield golf courses. It's just like they just threw a couple of greens up. It's hilarious. That's awesome. And the shack is like a barn. I go in there to get my bucket of balls, and she's like, you want to play the course or the – I think I'll be okay with the range, I think. Uh, oh, but people are so excited. You're hitting golf balls in March. Sure. People are in shorts. It's 18 degrees. It was fantastic. Oh, Buffy's my props God. brought to you by our, our friends at BetSafe.net. Uh, Stuff actually uh, provided – you got them done before the podcast and wrote them out for you, and they are fantastic. Um, the NWHL yes. Final Four. Uh, we love the women's hockey. And so the final four is this weekend. Boston Pride versus Toronto Six is one semifinal. Connecticut Whale versus Minnesota Whitecaps is the other semifinal. So Stoff is giving you guys a double prop here. Basically, if you pick the winner now, it pays off at four to one. If you wait till the semis are over, it's just a one to one scenario. So Boston, Toronto, Connecticut, or Minnesota, you have to have the pick in before Friday at 5 p.m. to get the four to one payoff. And we're very strict with that. Two minutes into the game, gone, over, can't do it, right? That's so. That is uh, Jimmy, Jimmy's going to uh, go first, and he is going to uh, he's going to represent the six and take the six, the only Canadian club in the final four, and he's going to go two gold bars on the six, which means it will pay off eight gold bars. I love gold. Puffy. I am going to go with the Toronto Six. They're bringing the Isabel Cup home. Three gold bars. We Ooh. are doing it. Boston Pride's going down. Stop. Uh, I am also going to go with the Toronto Six. And uh, I'm going to go two gold bars on Jimmy. Okay. And Stan Lester? I am sad to say that I am going to go with the Boston Pride. Two gold bars. So we were all doing the four to one right from the beginning. I like it. And I like to be indifferent there. If, in fact, if you picked the Toronto Six, I might have jumped off Toronto and gone with the Minnesota Whitecaps. But I'm going to stick with the, uh, with the T6. No that's love what, the, for that's the what we call it. Whale. No love for the whale. Love the whale, but in general. It's going to be Toronto. Once more, in that more win. Arkansas mm. versus Oral Roberts. There was a lot of oral jokes on, on Twitter. Everybody had an oral yeah. joke on the weekend. Yeah. A lot of them. In fact, one of our listeners, uh, Andrew Arsenal, asked yeah. if why couldn't we have a uh, oral versus Moorhead state oh. matchup. I, I was thinking a little more PG, like Oral Roberts and Colgate, but oh, and Andrew, Andrew did it there. Much more PG, cleaner <laughs> for the pot. I appreciate that stuff. Um, so Arkansas versus Oral Roberts. Uh, Oral Roberts is the story of the tournament. It, that pays off at two to one yes. if you take 
if you take Oral Roberts, uh, what was what seed was Arkansas? What were they? Uh, uh, I believe they're a two something? seed or a Arkansas three. with a three, I think a three. Yeah, three. Okay. And okay, so boy, that pays off two to one, eh? I didn't watch a lot of Arkansas. I watched one of their games, two to one. I believe the dream is going to end. I'm going to take Arkansas three goal bars. I love go, Jerry. Go, Puppy. Uh, well, what former governor Bill Clinton taught me that Arkansas they dominate oral. So I'm going to go with our Kansas. That's ridiculous. Wow. I like that. How many? How many bars? Three goal bars. Stop. Ooh. I'm a little tempted to go with the oral. I'm going to go oral for one goal bar. All right. Lester? Oral Roberts, two gold bars. All right. Ooh. Let the magic continue. <laughs> and finally. Wrong or wrong? This is uh, for our, our friend uh, Matcha. Uh, World Cup qualified this weekend. A couple of uh, Malta's in top. It's Malta, Slovakia, and yeah. Turks and Caicos versus Nicaragua. Our, so, our, uh, what's our, our old sponsor with? versus our new sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> so, who is going to have a better goal differential? Who will lose by less, essentially? Right, stop. Malta, Very likely, yeah. Or Turks and Caicos against Nicaragua. I don't really haven't done a lot of research on Malta <clears throat> football, um, but I'm going to have to go. Jeez, I'm going to have to say Malta will have the better goal differential. I'm going with the current sponsor, BetSafe.net, baby. Malta, I'm all about. As a matter of fact. I'm going to pick Malta for the win over Slovakia, 100 goal marks. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that happens, you'll, you'll win like 40 million gold bars. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will just uh, two on Malta. Two on Malta. Uh, go, Scott. Or Poppy. Uh, I actually know the history of Maltese uh, soccer, and it is not a pleasant one. Uh, Turks and Caicos for three gold bars. Do you know the history of Turks and Caicos soccer? No. Pro- probably know, should have uh, that one I'm up. assuming it's illustrious. <laughs> Player on the Turks and Caicos rugby team. That helps. That, yeah, really? it does. It does. Yeah, he's, uh, he's one of my favorite waiters uh, at one of the restaurants we go to. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? The soccer <laughs> players work there too, Puffy. Just so you know. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm going with Malta, three gold bars. Okay. Lester, did you vote yet? I have not voted yet. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I, um, I actually... I'm sorry. Did, you, that did you ask him? Did you ask him? <laughs> did you vote yet? <laughs> it's like we're picking the prime minister. <laughs> like, have you um, said, I, have you said I, your I, answer? I, I was really interested in a Maltese girl once, beautiful woman. She ended up uh, being a, a bodybuilder and modeling and everything. Uh, but I wasn't able to uh, get her to successful go, successfully go out with me. So I've been turned off uh, ever since. So I'm going to go with Turks and Caicos for one gold bar. It's not a way better. Logical. Sorry. Logical. I was trying to keep up with Poppy, but I didn't. I, it, it didn't work out. I love the Maltese, by the way. What was her beautiful name? People. What was the girl from Malta? What was her name? Remember? I don't even remember, to be honest Catch, with you. Katchka. <laughs> it was not Katchka. <laughs> so quickly, let's get to, uh, well, let's go through the mailbag. We have a mailbag theme? Yeah. All right. I said you something, Yeah. This is the mailbag. This is the mailbag. Johnny V says, uh, thank you, YouTube, you for uh, <laughs> I think, you know, I blame myself for missing all Lester's lines, but now I think he waits till I start talking and then he starts doing it. No, I don't. I swear to God. I swear to God. I think you wait till he's talking. <laughs> That's possible. You start going. That's highly possible. Hold on, hold on. Uh, just just so you know, I'm not crazy here. Rubber Boots Podcast. Listen to the man. Listen to the man. Thank 
Thank you for listening. The mailbag, Johnny V says the YouTube option is awesome alternative to the traditional pod. Feels like I'm on a group FaceTime with the boys. Maybe one time we should uh, let all our listeners come on. We'll have a big, <laughs> a big Zoom. Be like 100. Yeah. Uh, like just only for the live. We'll do a, li- yeah, do a live. All. Maybe one time we should do a live one live. on Thursday we at 6 do a o'clock. Live. Yeah. Yeah. Your drops yeah. are not going to be as good, probably. <laughs> we'll see. You're going to have to be on the ball. It's not going to happen. Just have that. Just have that more you know music ready and just drop it in every second. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, I like the idea of a live pod, though. I think it'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there's there's some, a lot of uh, XFL versus CFL talk on YouTube. A lot of anger. Most yeah, of it's still towards Puffy, actually. I was surprised. Yeah. I thought a lot of people were going to come down for uh, come at me for the uh, four downs over three downs take, but a lot of people just didn't like Puffy saying that the CFL is off better off dead. Well, my whole point with that is if it's gonna if it's going to become something completely different than what it is, then fold the CFL. And and not I'm not saying like like that Canadian teams or cities can't have football league. Like we couldn't do an XFL, but just do like I just think uh, I I just think that's the way it should go. <laughs> You're making a horrible. <laughs> that was an how incredible beer, take. How many beers have you had? I'm just going to do an imitation of what I just heard. Well, I was trying to see. Was I'm not saying it was just better if it's dead, but if it wasn't dead and they just were going to play, then they just then it, I just think it would be a better thing overall. I actually felt like I was getting dumber as I was going. <laughs> <laughs> so did our audience. <laughs> Oh my god! I felt, like I, I felt like I came out hot, and then it kind of fizzled. I didn't know where I was going. A lot, a lot of anger. The roadrunner was unhappy. Screw you! With you. Uh, yeah, the road runner, awesome. Please. The roadrunner was really unhappy. Things that I saw on Twitter: freaky pigs, strange chicks, world affairs, polar bears, fake news, nice shoes, big boobs, jack dudes, all of these things and more. As I sat on the shitter, things that I saw on Twitter. Alrighty, uh, we discussed uh, Puffy's uh, shot at nauseum yeah, at this point. We got point, through so there. Yeah, we got through there. Uh, next, uh, we have wide receiver Tory Smith tweets out simply, "Hummus is disgusting." Agree. Yeah, bad or take. Agree. Bad take. Horrible wow. take. Bad take. Yeah. Hummus is yeah. strong. I like hummus. Yeah. yeah, goes with most things. Yeah. yeah. Hummus things? is yeah. basically fifty percent of my kids' diet. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. <laughs> Doctor Fu certain found organizations quite a large into that. Found quite a large uh, <laughs> concentration of hummus on one part of my uh, on one part of my colon. There's a big chunk of it there. <laughs> Carved it off. That was, that was the biopsy. <laughs> That's the biopsy. You don't have cancer, but you're a chickpea. <laughs> 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 he heard that one. He heard that line. First time ever. I didn't talk over one of Lester's jokes. <laughs> uh, Lester, do you have a take on the uh, hummus? Oh uh, yeah, I got no problem with hummus. Hummus is fine. Let it, you know, let the hummus people enjoy themselves. Hummus is good. Uh, uh, for us, it's promising. It's magic. Shares a story about proposing at McDonald's. Uh, yeah, well, I'll play that here. Well, it was it was a classy McDonald's because it was a McDonald's slash gas station, and it was in uh, it was in Earth City, Missouri. The practice facility for the Rams was there. It was right across the street. It's a very long story, but the the quickest I can tell it is, I bought her a ring. We had a joint bank account. We went to the Gap to get a coat, winter coat. She thought they double charged her. She said, we're going to go home. This was before you could do everything on your phone. When we get home, I'm going to check the laptop. We got to see if I got double charged. So I had to find a way from the gap to my house to propose to her. I said, hey, you want to go to this steakhouse? You want to go sit by the lake? No, it's November. It's cold. Let's go to McDonald's. Okay. So we sat at McDonald's. I was looking her in the eye. She's doing the sweet and sour sauce everywhere, (laughs) licking her fingers. So the, the ring slid right on. It was wonderful. How <laughs> wasn't that something? <laughs> I think if you're else. a uh, NFL quarterback who went to Harvard, you could probably propose every, anywhere and you're going to get a yes. Yeah, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. What's the sex two trend? How to pick Popeyes right. myself. So I went on Twitter last <laughs> night. <laughs> you got two there. Two, two in a row, I heard. <laughs> 
new record. I was on Twitter last night and I noticed that the phrase sex two, as in the number two, was trending. So I attempted to find out why. Uh, the reason for this is it actually comes from an old Twitter joke from like 2017 where someone wrote sex is good, but sex two is better, as in implying that sex two was a the next generation yeah, or something. It, yeah, like the next movie and the sequel, yeah. basically. Um, so basically yesterday people brought it back by tweeting sex two had been released and just with a bunch of different memes, but none of it ever really explains the original joke or why they're doing it. So I'm still confused. I don't know if you guys make any sense of it, but is it just me or is the internet just becoming too complicated for us? I I have, I have a a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. Do you think that, uh, sex is currently better than it was? Like, say, in the 1960s. Like, do you think people do it better now than they did it then? Well, that's a big gap, yeah. though. And, 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 and actually, remember, the 1960s was, like, the love child, like, love, love child, and people were, were, were doing the sex a lot. I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to take this one because I, 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 uh, I, I find the have- question fascinating. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say yes. And the reason I say that is because I just think we live in an age now where it's all one upsmanship. Oh, my post is this, my post is this, whatever. So I think especially uh, when we're much more inquisitive about it, it's sex has been in our face a, a lot more. And uh, yeah, I think, I, I think the answer is uh, undoubtedly yes. That is better now. I think that, what do you think? Way, or, so? Which way? <laughs> that is better now? <laughs> or then? I wasn't sure what the yes was well, for. <laughs> oh, no, it's better now. It's better now. Sorry. Oh, okay. I totally thought now, it was sorry. then you were saying. Because it was oh, no, in no, our no, face no. all the time. Yeah. No, you'd be, meant, you'd be great on the you'd be great on the quiz, Lester. Best goalie of all time is it A. Patrick <laughs> Waugh, B. Dominic Hasek, C. Johnny Bauer, or D. Come up with another one, Bernie Farrell, Lester. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I made myself pretty clear when I was talking about the internet and everything. I said no, I'm, and I guess I'm sorry, that's, I didn't. Uh, no, I know you made Puffy it, and I you caught on right away. Yeah. Puffy, I knew what you were talking about. I think Lester's right that people are more educated. I think the problem is like probably before they uh, didn't know where people, to put it. Young <laughs> people, young people have seen so much porn that they are probably so ready when they actually get to the act, they know exactly what to do. Whereas, you know, you don't want to be Jimmy, too ready, kids. Yeah, like I had no idea what I was doing. Right, I I, I saw one scene of a porno on uh, Mike Taddeello's wall. Off a film projector. I saw. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Jimmy was a mess. Speaking of sex in the sixties, poor Leslie. <laughs> Wall projector. <laughs> wow. Was it under one of those reel to reels? I think Jimmy cements it. They weren't having better sex oh. then. <laughs> yeah, it's, I just drew it, drew it right at the edge of the conclusion. Right there. Oh my god. Argument over. Yeah. Oh. Well, we, let's yeah, face it, it, we didn't know what the hell we were doing at the beginning. No. They all know exactly what they're doing now. They've seen it all. Uh, you know, I, I, yeah. I personally think it's too bad that the, the kids these days are, are, are totally over-sexualized uh, as far as I'm concerned. But are um, we but, better? Is the quite real question, yeah. are we better? Brooksy, am I better? <laughs> Time for a review. That's good for me, too. You said no. <laughs> Rexy is Lester better. <laughs> His form's it's in now. It's gonna come in and now. Uh, that'll happen to Turks and Caicos when I went to bed early that night. <laughs> Nothing. Trust me. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Yeah, no, we're all, we're all better now. Let's do it. Me and Puffy question. were on live, so I don't know. Yeah, everyone's better. You're- we were, yeah, we were talking to our the six people who were joined us at, at 2 a.m. <laughs> I still maintain that was the best podcast ever. It was very good. Mm-hmm. Let's do all oh, quickly. What you watching? What you watching? Just between you and me. What you streaming on your TV? Let me see. What you watching? Action, drama, comedy. What you streaming on your TV? Quick film recommendation. Rooksy and I discovered a film on the Apple TV called uh, Palmer with Justin Timberlake as Palmer. Oh, is it good? I heard about this. Yeah, he, Justin's, uh, he plays a character I won't do too much, but uh, basically an old uh, football quarterback whose life went the wrong way, ended up in prison, 
comes back to his uh, little town in, I guess, Texas, maybe Alabama somewhere. And uh, I just almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. One thing about after you have the colonoscopy and you don't eat for 48 hours, you pig out. And yep. Jimmy's been just eating everything. Gracie bought me a carrot cake. and I just ate the whole damn carrot. You cake. did not eat an entire cake. Yeah, I ate an That's entire carrot disgusting. cake. Disgusting. Yeah. No. Um, not at one sitting. Oh. Over the span of three hours. <laughs> <laughs> You're um, yeah. So anyway, Justin Timberlake, he ends up having to take care of this uh, young girl. Uh, sorry, a boy who is clearly identifies as a girl plays with dolls and is extremely girlish. And, uh, mm. you know, Justin Timberlake's this tough football player, small town and uh, great movie about the attachment he forms. And the, the girl of course gets bullied at school and everything. And I've made it sound more movie of the week than it is. It's actually mm -hmm. pretty good. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Palmer. Nice. Mm. Highly recommend. The dude's Palmer. pretty talented, man. I have to say, I love Justin. JT uh, is good. Timberlake, Timberlake, just so you know. Mm -hmm. The Razzo Brothers, uh, a new uh, venture coming out this year in Disney. Zombies 3. Ooh. Okay. Is Gracie, can Gracie get in that one? So Gracie, Is it filmed can, yet? I, I, yeah, it's, no, it's going to get shot this year. In Toronto? G yes, and Gracie's going to get a part. Now, Have if I can confirm that. that, I can if confirm If I only that. saw Zombies 1, but not you can, Zombies you can 2. definitely watch Zombies 3. <laughs> Three will still make sense to me. Yes, it will, it will still they don't introduce sense. any new zombies in no, between. Okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> Perfect. Just making sure. I I was confused by our conversation a couple of pods ago about the whole Razzo Russo brothers. Yes. So who are the guys that do the Marvel movies? The Those Russo are little brothers. timers. They're Russo, the Russo brothers. Russo the brothers. Big guys are the Razzo brothers. The Razzo brothers. <laughs> it's all about Ra the Russo brothers. Is the past. They're finished. The Razzo brothers are the future. Yes. So the new Tom Holland movie, when he comes back from the war, that's the rat. That's the no, that's, that's the, the Russo, Russo brothers. brothers. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not your boy. That looks like a snooze. No. What's the Worth. movie coming out with your boys that has a Sean Cameron character? With uh, that's with uh, Gina Rodriguez <laughs> from. Uh, I thought I married a virgin. <laughs> no, I thought, hold on. It's a wig. It's, it's, a wig isn't it? it's called a wig, but she was a star <laughs> of my high school virgin with a high school uh, <laughs> all American virgin. <laughs> Damn it. She's a well known actress. For a 40 year old virgin? What are you no. <laughs> she was a virgin in my high school. Hold on. I got to find out what her IDMB is. Give me one sec. IDMB? I think it's IDMB. IDMB. Oh, Jane the Virgin. Jane Gina the virgin. Rodriguez from Jane the Virgin stars in Awake. Also, huh? Barry Pepper's in that movie. Oh, that Barry like a very good co too. concept, and it's an. Apocalyptic movie. Apocalyptic movie. <laughs> that is, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, the Saving Private Ryan of 2021. It's looking good. Okay. Um, Lester, what did you say that we didn't hear a word of? I was just gonna say, at some point, we need to figure out how we could sit around a, a, a campfire and have some beers uh, because uh, uh, I miss, I miss you guys. I miss you guys. And you know, it's funny. I think my neighbors think I'm crazy because I live alone. And for an hour uh, and night and, and a half a week, I laugh my ass off. <laughs> they don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> I, I thought it's because they walk by your house and see you on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> the rebounder. <laughs> oh my god, oh, uh, gentlemen! Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, here on the Rubber Boots Pod, brought to you by BetSafe.net. Uh, let's go Malta this weekend. Come on, you Maltas, oh, you Maltese, one, Turks. You one more thing, if I could. Us. Yes, yeah. Lester. Uh, I, uh, my cousin called me for, for my birthday last week. His name's Jason, Jason McLean. He informed me that he's a faithful listener of the Rubber Roots Bath podcast. And of course, I immediately said, I'm sorry to hear that. But I'll, I'll oh insert the laughter there. So, so, Shout out to Jason. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for listening. <laughs> my, my computer froze. And, and listen, and, and, also, and also I'd like to say, I mean, obviously, uh, I'm a big Habs fan. And uh, uh, unfortunately, as we know at this time, the team's in quarantine and we'll be not be playing until the 28th of March. So I want to shout out to the Habs. Uh, everybody get better. I hope well, everybody's feeling, awesome. feeling okay. And, and, uh, and, and obviously everybody uh, with the league. Yes. So yeah, yeah we're huge. Yeah. Kotkaniemi particularly loves the yeah. pot. He, he's in our uh, March Madness pool. 
Yep. He's a yes. He's you know what he is? He's, 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 he's a possums. Yeah, he, he's a rubber. He's a he's prophylactic a member of prophylactic <laughs> nation. <laughs> so, prophylactic nation. Have a great what? week. We'll see you Thursday night. At we do need a symbol. Of the pod. We, we, <laughs> wait a second. We, we, hold on. I got. I got an idea. I got an idea. <laughs> Show me the fist. Yeah. Prophylactic nation. <laughs> we'll see you send, next send, week. Send us I'm, your photos. I'm, I'm run the podcast. <laughs> what are the props for this week? Oh, that's a great idea. I, I sent them. They're in the email. No one read oh, the in? email. Lester's on the delay. <laughs> hey, could you edit that comment into earlier in the podcast? <laughs> No problem. I have so much time to do it. <laughs> the clock in the background says, <laughs> sweet, sweet can. Where did this guy go? I got to start editing this thing. <laughs> we're, we're live in 60 hours now. The clock is right. Hey, how are you? I got a question that I really want to ask you. Don't hang up I need to know So I'm gonna try And push my love Are you wearing Your rubber boots tonight Are they purple, yellow, green Or black or white Are you wearing your rubber boots Tonight Do you like the dunk tank At the fair Are you wearing your rubber boots tonight?